Hi guys, welcome to PencilCollege.com. Okay, so in this video, we'll be moving on to chapter 7.3, Parallel and Non-Parallel Lines. So the lesson objectives, to apply the conditions for the gradients of parallel lines to solve problems. So what exactly are parallel lines and what's so special about parallel lines? So suppose lines L1 and L2 are parallel, then we can say that the gradients are equal. So what does it mean? It means that the gradient of L1, which is M1, is equal to the gradient of L2, which is M2. Okay, and the angle theta, which is the angle that the line forms with the x-axis. So let me just highlight it over here. This is my angle theta. Okay, the angle theta is actually the same. Okay, and uh, pro probably also want to highlight that the uh, if the two lines are parallel, okay, then we can, you know, use this very simple symbol, okay, to denote that the lines are parallel. Okay, as for non-parallel lines, so what are the conditions? It will just be the exact opposite of that of parallel lines. So if the lines are non-parallel, then of, of course, they are, obviously, their gradients are not the same. So M1 is not equal to M2, and therefore, the angles that they form with the x-axis is not the same as well. Okay, so this is just probably the more theoretical part. Okay, if, uh, if it's kind of confusing, don't worry, we'll be looking at some tangible examples. So in example number one, find the equation of the line which passes through the point 1, 2 and is parallel to the line y equals to 4x minus 3. So before we move any further, let us just recall that the equation of any straight line can always be written in this general form, y equals to mx plus c. Okay, so let us call the equation of this line, okay, over here, let's call it L2. So what is the gradient of L2? Okay, let's, let's call the gradient M2. Okay, so the gradient of L2, which is M2, is simply just 4. Okay, why is that so? Because L2 is in the form y equals mx plus c. Okay, and if you can observe over here, my m is just 4. Okay, so if we have a line which passes through this point, 1, 2, so what does this mean? This means that we have a line that passes through the point, 1, 2, okay, and has a gradient of 4. So we have a upward sloping line. So just a rough sketch of the line. Okay, it's an upward sloping line. So what we will do, we will move on to substitute. So we will sub x equals to 1, y equals to 2, and m equals to 4 into y equals to mx plus c, which is the general form for or general equation for any straight line. So y is 2, m is 4, x is 1 plus c. Okay, solving this, we can get c to be negative 2. Therefore, the line, the equation of the line that we're looking for is just y equals to m, which is for x plus c, and c is just negative 2. And there we have it. Okay, so let's call this line l1. Okay, so before we move on to the next example, I just want to highlight, okay, that... Uh, L1 and L2 are essentially parallel because their gradients, okay, which I'm highlighting now over here, are the same. Okay, so the gradients of L1 and L2 are the same. So I need to say M1 equals to M2 equals to 4. Therefore, we can say that L1, or rather, therefore, we know that L1 and L2 are parallel. Okay, let's move on to example number two. Find the equation of the line with y-intercept 3 and parallel to the line y equals to 3x plus 4. Okay, so let's call this line over here L2. Okay, and uh, let's call the line that we want L1. Okay, and we know, okay, we know that L1 lies 
on the point zero three. Now, how did I, how did, how did I, or rather, how do we know this? Okay, because L one, which is the line that we want, has a y intercept of three. Okay, y intercept of three. So L one cuts the y intercept at three. Okay, so this point over here. Okay, this point over here, if I were to write out the coordinates of the point, it's just 0, 3. So L1 lies on the point 0, 3. And, okay, since L1 is parallel to the line L2, which has a gradient of 3, okay, we can say that M2 equals to 3, and therefore, and, and therefore the gradient of L1, which is M1, Okay, is equals to M2, which is equals to 3. Okay, because L1 and L2, lines 1 and 2, are parallel. Okay, so moving on, we will sub x equals 0, y equals 3, and m equals 3 into our favorite equation, which is the general equation of any straight line, y equals mx plus c. Okay, so... 3 equals to 3 times 0 plus c, and c is just 3, and therefore, our line L1 is just y equals to 3x plus 3, okay? This is the line that we want, L1. Okay, that's all for example number 2. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this video, and this uh, video helps you with your straight you have your concept of straight line as well as parallel lines okay so for more videos please log on to pencilcollege.com i'll see you in the next video see ya